in the model of the European Union. It is, however, widely accepted that the full potential of SARC is yet to be realized. As I have often said, we can change our friends as many times as we like, but we cannot change our neighbors. Our neighbors are going to exist where they are. And it is for us to decide whether we live in peace or in tension between ourselves. We must look at a shared future living behind the divisions even of the past. Indo-Bangladesh relation is a good example of progress in this regard. India and Bangladesh are not just neighbors. We are also two nations bound by the threads of history, religion, culture, language, and kinship. No doubt, a large number of our soldiers laid down their lives. Our growing cooperation is a picture of shared prosperity amongst neighbors. Bangladesh has in recent times achieved tremendous success in every walk of life. Bangladesh is today a thriving democracy from being basket case at the time of its creation. It is now self-sufficient in food grain productions. Issues of concern between the two countries have been mutually resolved. For instance, a bilateral treaty <coughs> signed on 12th December 1996 established an arrangement for sharing the Ganges water. Prime Minister Narendra Modi paid a very successful visit to Bangladesh on 6th, 7th June 2015. A large number of agreements were signed on the occasion, including the land boundary agreement, which was first signed in 1974 between Indira Gandhi and Mujibur Rahman, which is popularly known as Indira Mujib Agreement. 